Panchamukha is a Sanskrit word meaning five-faced. Shri Hanuman manifested himself in Panchamukha or Panchamukhi avatar to kill Ahiravan. Ahiravan, a powerful demon, was the brother of Ravan. During the Ramayan battle, when Lakshman killed Indrajit, the son of Lanka Naresh, Ravan approached his brother Ahiravan for help. He was the king of the underworld or Patal Lok. When Vibhishan came to know about this, he rushed to warn Ram and Lakshman. Vibhishan asked Lord Hanuman to stay alert and not let anyone enter the premises where Lord Ram and Lakshman reside. Ahiravan tried so hard to enter the premises but couldn't succeed. Lord Hanuman foiled his each and every attempt. At last, Ahiravan decided to disguise himself in the form of Vibhishan. Hanuman couldn't recognize him and he let him enter the room where Ram and Lakshman were staying. Once Ahiravan entered the room, he abducted Ram and Lakshman and took them to the underworld. When Hanuman came to know about the incident, he rushed to Vibhishan and informed him about this. Vibhishan asked Hanuman to rescue them quickly or else Ahiravan will sacrifice them. Hence, Hanuman went on a rescue mission to save both Ram and Lakshman. When Hanuman reached the door of Patal Lok, he was stopped by a strange creature. The creature had half the body of a Vanara and half of a reptile. He was the guard of the door. Hanuman asked for his introduction, to which he said that he was Makardhwaja, the son of Hanuman. This left Hanuman perplexed, as he had been an adept brahmachari all his life. Makardhwaja explained that when Hanuman took a dip in the ocean after burning down the whole of Lanka with his inflamed tail, a drop of his blood fell into the mouth of a crocodile. The crocodile later gave birth to his son Makardhwaja, who went on to become the gatekeeper of Patal Lok under Ravan's cousin Ahiravan. After a brief fight, Hanuman defeated Makardhwaja and entered the Patal Lok. Ahiravan was backed by a strong army. Chandrasena informed him about the secret of killing Ahiravan that his life force is in the five different candles which had been kept in five different directions. The only way to kill Ahiravan was to blow off all the candles at the same time. Hanuman appeared in the five-faced form and extinguished the five candles and killed Ahiravan. He then rescued Lord Ram and Lakshman who were in an unconscious state by a magic spell. In the Panchamukhi avatar, each face of Lord Hanuman represents a god and has its significance. The face towards the east is Sri Anjaneya, which removes all blemishes of sin and confers purity of mind. The south-facing Mukha is Sri Narasimha, removes fear of enemies and confers victory. The west-facing Mukha is of Sri Mahavir Garuda, that drives away evil spells, black magic influences and removes all poisonous effects in one's body. The north-facing Mukha is of Sri Lakshmi Varaha Murti, that wards off all the troubles caused by bad influences of the planets and confers all prosperity of Ashtaeshwarya. The face looking upwards is of Sri Hayagriva, which confers knowledge, victory, progeny and mukti. Panchamukha can be interpreted as the five waves of praying a god in Hindu philosophy. These five waves are known as Naman, Smaran, Kirtanam, Yacham and Arpanam. The five faces of Panchamukha are also a depiction of one of these forms of worship.